Purdy Bob's tractor repair. Okay, what we got right here is a selective control valve switch because we added that fifth remote to the 9560RT, but you got to add the switch in. It's not in the cab, it's not in the armrest, it's, it's got to be added. What I did is I took out one that's already there to show you how they work and what they look like when they're all together. This is what you get when you order one of these with the extra harness, it comes with a harness for it, but you have to put this all together. And if any of you have ever wondered how the detent works in one of these, I'll show you right here. When you push it like that, and then you know you push down on the button, and you push down, that's how it does that. That little roller right there clicks on this, and there's a spring right here. Then it clicks back, and then you have your pivoting like that for up and down. But when you go into float, float like that, that's what you're doing is you're, pu you're, doing is you're pushing this down, and it clicks on that. How it knows that is this little baby right here where your wires plug in has this, I would call it a rheostat resistor. That's how it knows where it's at position-wise. I will tell you that with this tractor, you do have to have John Deere, a tech, come out with his computer. It has to be programmed because the tractor's not going to know that you have this in there. It, it just isn't until you put it in there. So what we're going to do is it's real simple to lay these out to see how they go. But you have this spring right here. This spring's going to go up inside there like that. And then one goes on one side and one goes on the other of the tangs, just like that. Then you have your lever right here. And I'm gonna match up, because I have one out already. I'm gonna match up how this goes. There's the color, there's the color there. There's a thing right here, and that's gonna go on each set spring. You have to get it on each side of that. So then this is gonna come down over top like that. Now you have your spring. See how it's spring loaded now? That's what makes that have that spring loaded. There's your little roller that's riding on that bottom plastic piece right there. So now what we're going to do is put this piece on. This piece goes right here. This is where these little springs, and they can be kind of funky to get in. That one there goes like that. It fits right in a hole right there. And fit right in that hole right there. You're going to bring it around. And then you're going to get this tang right here. If you can see, it has to come up and hit right here. It's It's got tension on it. So once you get it over there, there, it's locked. It's locked in. The other side, that one, this one's a little harder. It has to go down inside here. And there's a hole See that hole right there in that bracket? This has to go into that hole. Sometimes you really gotta fight it around there. Right like that, it clipped in. And then this tang is gonna come up and go right in there in that groove. I usually just take a little screwdriver and there it is, it's snapped in. So now that, the spring part is all done. This is where it gets a little bit touchy. If you look right here, you can see the Z pattern. The Z pattern right there. That Z pattern has to fit in that notch right there. So these grooves on the sides, there's two on each side, and then there's grooves right in here. This is where you gotta kinda try to, it's not rocket science. You just gotta get it lined up, and then you have your rheostat thing, which has to match up with these this groove right here. So you got three things, well, one, four, one, two, three, four things that you're trying to get all kind of lined up in a plastic outfit that you don't want to break because, as we all know, none of it's cheap. So there we go. We have our remote. It's all ready. I'm going to try the detent part which is pushed down like that. There it is, it's locked in. We're good to go. So that's how you put together a SCV control switch 
And this is the same way, even if you have one of these go bad, one of the other ones go bad, this is still how you'd have, you'd have to put it together like this. So that's how you do it. I'm gonna get her get up in the cab and I'll show what we have to do up in the cab for mounting this switch into an empty port and where this new wiring harness hooks in.